It was a beautiful day, 24th of September, 2022. Sun was just coming up and temperature was in the mid 70s. It's a perfect day for a ride. But this ride was different. It was an Arizona Patriot Guard Pony Express for two veterans. One was an Air Force Brigadier General, the other a Silver Star awarded Air Force Sergeant. We were going from Anthem, Arizona to Arlington National Cemetery. There were 12 escort riders making the full trip and eight PGR road guards seeing us safely to the Arizona-New Mexico border. Overall, we would cover 12 states and 2,400 miles in six days. Military honors were scheduled for the seventh day. We could not be late. We left Anthem at about 8, 8.15 in the morning in front of an audience. Several people showed up to honor these two veterans. They stood a flag line for us while they waited for us to leave. We left on time. We had the road guards controlling traffic and we made our way through Anthem.
This was our first freeway up the interstate, Interstate 17, from Anthem to just outside of Flagstaff, Arizona, a uh, gas station area called Kachina Village. The road guards stopped the traffic across the lanes, and we were able to merge onto the freeway just as if it were completely empty, just the way it's supposed to be. It was truly amazing. We made a pretty good picture heading up through New River and Black Canyon City. Our first big uphill. We were just north of Black Canyon City on Interstate 17. The highway rises several thousand feet from the desert floor up to the top of the Mogollon Rim. And we were an amazing sight for everybody that was riding with us and all of the people who were riding alongside, in front of or behind us. An hour and 40 minutes later, we're there, Kachina Village, <laughs> our first gas stop. Uh, we uh, pulled in, pulled down. Uh, I'm not sure the gas station was exactly ready for what we were bringing to them, but they handled us very well. They were very nice folks. And everybody was able to get gas, tank up, and be ready for the next trip, which from here was across the... Uh, I-40 stretch to the New Mexico border. Uh, there we were going to meet the New Mexico Patriot Guard who were going to escort us into New Mexico. But first, we get gasoline and a 20-minute stretch so that we, we can handle that next part of the trip.
Two hours later, we were pulling into Lupton, Arizona. This is where we would meet the New Mexico PGR members who were going to escort us across New Mexico. We would also get gasoline here and have some lunch. It was time for the riders to have fuel too. There were about 10 or 12 members of the New Mexico Patriot Guard there to greet us. <laughs> we pulled in and filled the bikes up with gas because we wanted to be ready to go when it was time to go and then parked next to them. They were kind enough to watch the bikes for us while we went and had some lunch over there at the truck stop. Then everybody got ready to go again. Every Patriot Guard mission begins with a briefing by the person in charge. In this case, it was the New Mexico State Captain. The briefing includes the route, which for us was Interstate 40 from where we were into Albuquerque, New Mexico, and anything along the way that might be problematic. Construction, road closures, detours, that kind of thing. Once that was done, everybody kind of broke up, and we all got ready to start on the next part of the ride.
and then we were in New Mexico. And two hours later, we were in Albuquerque and at our hotel, our stopping place for the night. Almost all of us were saddle sore, tired, and our machines were out of gas. It was time to end the day. <laughs>